Hey guys, welcome to Barbecue with Jeff and the series Barbecue Like a Boss. Today, we're making moink balls. Alright guys, moink balls are really easy to make and it's something if you've never smoked food, a great beginner. I've already got a bunch already made up, but as you can see a moink ball is a beef meatball wrapped around bacon. Moo for beef, moink for pig, moink. So it's dead simple, just take your bacon, cut it in half like so. It'll fit around, it'll fit around your beef meatball. I like to use pre-made grocery store meatballs. There's no rules that say you can't make your own, but uh, this is just a dead simple party appetizer that I like, I like to make. So just take them, wrap, wrap them around like so, take your toothpick, and I like to poke them through the, where they overlap in the bottom first, and then go right through the center. Now your meatballs don't need to be raw. What I did was I took them from frozen, and I just put them in the microwave for 10 seconds, tried to put a toothpick through, wasn't quite thawed enough, put them in for 10 more seconds, and it can easily go through. So there you go. That's how you make your moink balls. And then, now I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of Meat Church Honey Hog, uh, Honey Hog Rub. Any kind of sweet rub would do really good, would do well, I should say. Honey Hog Rub is a really awesome new rub. Came out just this past year from Meat Church. They were on Barbecue Pitmasters. And I've uh, got to say, I really love their products. I've got all of their rubs, and uh, it's all really good. So just take it, sprinkle it on, and uh, just get it all coated. Like so. All right, guys. So I got my Weber kettle all set up like I showed you last week with indirect cooking. I've got the coals bank to one side, I got my water pan, and I've got my thermometer right now reading 250, 250 degrees, so it's right where I want it. So, I'm going to take my hickory wood chunks. I find hickory is a great wood, a great all-purpose wood. Everything tastes good with hickory. It's very mild. And uh, I like it with pork, anything, ribs, bacon, anything like that. Hickory is a good, whip, is a good uh, wood. And I prefer to use chunks. Some people like chips. I prefer to use chunks. So I just lay those on there now to get them smoking. And take my moink balls. And I'm going to lay them over here away from the charcoal. Alright guys, so it's been about 45 minutes. Everything's going along just fine. Right now I'm going to flip over my moink balls. Just to make sure the bacon gets cooked evenly. Man, they're looking awesome. So I'm just going to flip them over, make sure the bacon is cooked all the way around, get even heat. And now I'm going to take a little bit of apple juice and apple cider vinegar. It's, I got one quarter cup apple cider vinegar, three quarter cup of apple juice here in the spray bottle. I'm going to spritz down the, uh, down the moink balls, just give them a little bit of extra flavor to what we got going on here just a light coat all the way around. And that's going to really make them taste a lot better. Now just because I'm curious, I'm going to see how we're doing internally on the meatballs. Yeah, so we're looking, these are basically cooked now as it is, but my bacon isn't quite as crisp as I want it to be. And you know you don't need to worry about overcooking your meat because it's wrapped in bacon that's got a lot of fat in it. It's got the water pan for added moisture. The heat's all the way over here, so you don't got to really worry about your meat being cooked way too much, too chewy, or too tough. It's going to be okay. So I'm just going to leave this alone about another 20 minutes or so. Check on it again, see how the bacon's doing, and then we'll probably be, probably be ready to glaze. All right, guys. So it's been 20 more minutes, and these are pretty well done. <laughs> I'm just going to glaze them now with a little bit of uh, bone sucking sauce, thicker style. It's a really nice tomato -y, uh, tomato based, uh, nice sweet barbecue sauce. Now, 
one important thing, especially when you got a lid like this where it's not like a squeeze bottle, you don't ever want to take this and uh, put your brush directly into the bottle and then onto the food and then back into the bottle. You're going to want to put it into a second, a second dish and kind of go back and forth between this, whatever doesn't get used, discard, and you're good to go. I like to use, there's a Weber brand uh, little dish here and a, uh, and a brush. It's really nice because as you're using it, you know, you can lay the brush here and whatever drips off the brush goes back into your dish. It doesn't, uh, you're not going to have it like this or anything like that and have it dripping over to the side making a mess. So it's a great little brush by Weber. Just going to take it and uh, just kind of... Alright guys, so it's been another five minutes and these moink balls are done. As you can see, maybe you can't, but as I can see, the glaze is set, the barbecue sauce is set, and one thing I neglected to mention before, you always put your barbecue sauce on at the end of your cook. If you put it on in the beginning, you run a chance of it getting burned on because where there's so much sugar and the heat and everything else, it, it, it could just be not very nice. So whenever you're smoking anything, uh, you always put your barbecue sauce on at the end, and you put it on, you put the cover back on, and you give it 5-10 minutes to set and get nice and sticky and tacky, and that's what we got here. It's a nice sticky uh, moink ball. So I'm going to take these up now and give them a minute to cool down a little bit, and then I'm going to give them a try and let you know how they are. Alright guys, so as you can see the moink balls are done. I didn't glaze some of them there because my wife actually has a tomato allergy, so I didn't glaze a couple, but as you can see the bacon is cooked all the way through and it's wrapped nicely around the moink ball. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try this out and let you know what it tastes like. Mm. Yeah, that is fantastic. It's uh, the sauce is really nice. It complements the honey hog really well, and uh, the apple juice and apple cider vinegar gave it a little bit of tang. Uh, this is really good, guys. Um, if you've never smoked anything, this is a great place to start. Uh, make this for your next potluck and bring it, and I can guarantee you'll be the talk of the uh, talk of the party. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for checking it out. If you liked it, uh, slap the uh, slap that like button, and don't forget to check me out on uh, bbqwithjeff.com. I've got links to all my other social media sites as well. So follow me on Twitter, follow me on uh, Facebook, and uh, yeah, check me out. Thanks. Bye.